Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at a non-F upgrade kit for this guy. It is the Spoiler Pack War for Cybertron Nemesis Prime. We're also going to give a little bit of an update for this rack that's on him, um, courtesy of Grimlock Gone. So there's a couple of things to talk about here. Nothing has to do with the trailer and the rack is its own kind of separate thing. The non-F kit, the one that we're going to be focusing on here, it has everything to do with what's underneath the trailer and inside. And that's going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I am either a mod or an admin for, as well as all my social media. All those links in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, man, hit the join button right here on YouTube. Become a channel member. And the focus today, while... Just in passing, I'm going to mention a little bit of an update to my um, accessory rack, courtesy of Grimlock On. The real focus here is the non-F upgrade kit for Nemesis Prime. This is extremely similar to the kit for Optimus Prime, except it matches for Nemesis. Um, does it work as well for Nemesis or not? Well, we're about to find out when we head over to the table and take a closer look at underneath this trailer and everything inside. And yes indeed, here once again we have the Nemesis Prime War for Cybertron spoiler pack lad. Now I looked at him originally in episode 784. Love the guy, think it's great, think it's a wonderful Nemesis Prime. I also looked at the prototype of this 3D printed storage rack, courtesy of Grimlock On, in episode 804. It's a way to store everything on him so it doesn't need to be inside. I said prototype, this is... Uh, kind of a reprint, uh, another copy of it. Tolerance just slightly better. Uh, it does wrap around nicely. Uh, the other sword is on the other side. This one is on this side. His two blasters up here. Like it's 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 good. So not everything needs to be inside, which is important because now we have, thanks to friend of the channel Joe Ford, the non-F Nemesis Prime upgrade. Now a lot of people have seen this for. Optimus for Earthrise Optimus Prime. It, this is the recolor for Nemesis Prime, which we're going to take a look at. The only uh, kind of reason I wanted to start like this is because for me now, this is the way that this guy looks in truck mode with all of his bits and pieces and gear on him. As well, this I can simply lift off and I tend to like lay, you know, this down. It's off screen now, but I'll, I'll show it when we get this in base mode. But I tend to lay this down now as almost like a, a battle embankment type of thing. And of course his little, uh, I don't know what you call it, the uh, 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 battle master I guess? His little battle master lad, um, the slither fang lad, I can't remember this guy's name. He of course will just become like his own thing now, right? So like we'll lay all that aside, we'll lay this aside and we'll focus here on the trailer at hand. What can we see in vehicle mode right away? First thing to note, just like with Optimus, we have these little struts here. Now they're black. They come out to help for stabilization when we go to, I almost call it his base mode. Then we also have these like rear fender sections. Again, now they're in black. I think both of those sections are blue on the Optimus. And you have to unscrew or start to unscrew the back tires and kind of pull them down a little bit in order to fit this black piece up around and then you kind of uh, tighten the screws back up to sort of hold it in place. There's also two little uh, pegs on these fender pieces that go into a bumper piece and we take the door off and we put a new door on. I'm going to show all that a little closer in just a moment but before I do that, I did want to point out that you may notice that the trailer is back a bit. A little while ago, when I looked at that uh, accessory rack, 
I also looked at a new piece that is an, uh, like a, a new trailer hitch, basically. And uh, that, again, was thanks to Grimlock Gone. And this also comes with a similar trailer piece. Now, with the actual Earthrise Optimus Prime, the way the legs and stuff are there is a little bit different. So the trailer actually fits down. Uh, into a proper section a little bit more. In this case, we have a little black piece that goes over the peg of the trailer and then it goes over the two starts on his legs and it goes down in the peg hole between the legs. The result is that it's fine, though to be fair, the peg hole is a little tight, so like turning this cab is a little bit rough. Like when I turn it, the whole trailer seems to want to turn. Now you can do it if you do it like that, right? Um, it's good, but you may notice now that the trailer's like sitting up a slight bit too high. Really, by rights, what you need to do is have a, like a, a thin trailer hitch adapter, and you really honestly need to sort of cut off the like stock trailer hitch peg that's on there to make it shorter. Because all the adapters in the world won't shorten that peg. And right now, that peg that's on the trailer is sitting on top of the legs rather than down in the peg hole. As I say all that, it might not be clear to you. So let's kind of focus in on that adapter and what I'm talking about just a little bit. Okay, so initially, the peg would go into this peg hole right here. And the trailer sits fairly close. We, we've known that. That's the way that this works stock. With the new piece, there's a peg that goes into this hole, and then a section that goes over these two starts, and then a peg hole about right here. And now the stock peg of the trailer that went down into this hole, indented in the legs up here, now goes down to a hole right here. But that means that the peg of the trailer itself is bringing up solid against these leg pieces, and it's going to set a little bit high. Really what needs to happen is the peg itself needs to be a touch shorter. Let me try and explain it from this perspective. This is now the peg that goes down into the indented peg hole in the legs. There's a little section right here. That's what goes down over the two starts on the leg. But now the proper peg, instead of going down into a peg hole, it now goes into a peg hole here. And all of this sits on top of Nemesis Prime's legs. That means that the trailer is going to be angled up a little bit. If you want the trailer to be straighter, really what you need to do is shorten this actual peg that's in this hole here. If you could do that, then it'll probably sit better. That being said, if you do that, know what you're doing. If you decide to cut it off and shorten it, know what you're doing because it may well then be too short to peg in the stock way he comes at a package. I don't know if it's worth it to you to make an adapter work better to kind of sacrifice the ability to have it work stock the way it was designed. That's gotta be your call. Now that I've sort of exhausted some conversation there, let's talk about the other things that come with this. Because right now, really, we don't need to worry about Nemesis Prime because there's nothing that comes here that enhances the cab. It's all about the trailer, baby. So. Uh, at this point, like I said, we have these pieces on the side. We have this start here. So we can come up here and we can bring out these two starts. And if you want, you can even bring this down. But you'll notice, like, okay, it's not quite sitting right with, like, the, the I don't even know what you call this, these stabilizers here. These need to come out. And because we kind of lowered the tires a bit to make these sections work, these stabilizers are really going to be what sort of bounces us now. So we bring this out and then there's a little section down bottom here that you should take off and you turn it around and you, if I can find it, it is, man, it is tight. But you peg it on over like that and you do the same thing on the other side. Now with those stabilizers out, let's talk about the back end here a little bit. So I mentioned the two fender pieces and I said there's a bumper that pegs on over it. Make sure you put the fender pieces on the right way because all this is a like a tight fit to peg together. You also get little red pieces and the little red pieces give you your tail lights. You have to peg those in. Uh, they're a little tricky to get off the sprue, I found with my copy. Some people have said that they haven't found that, but it was tricky to get off the sprue. Uh, easy to peg them in there, no problem. And we replaced the door. So now the door opens down like that. And we can now open these out to the side thusly. And I'm just going to 
I straightened that stabilizing leg up a little bit. And I just knocked a piece out of a hand here, but I'm going to put that back in right now because that was my own fault. And this is what we have when we open it out. You probably can't see it all right now, so I'm just going to get it sort of settled uh, in the mode it should be. But before we do that, let's focus on Roller for a second. So we all know that Roller has six tires. Usually he's either blue or gray, and this time, of course, it's Nemesis Roller, so he's black. Putting this together was a bit of a nuisance. The tolerances are super duper tight on the guy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I didn't have instructions, so what ended up happening is I'd put stuff together and then I'd have to take it apart. You have a top piece and a bottom piece, and yes, they do go sandwiched together, but these side pieces need to kind of go, like what I found is sandwich the top and bottom into one side piece and then sandwich the other side piece on. But keep in mind that on a, like, for me, like this set came in three baggies, and in a separate baggie was this center cross beam. So what ended up happening was I had it together, I said, man, there's a cross beam missing there. And then when I found it, I realized that there's two rounded little pegs on either side of like the cross beam section. So I had to wedge off one of the sides again, put the, cr the centerpiece in and then wedge it back together and then put all six tires on it. The tires are tight, the, one or two of them roll, but like, it's weird. He feels like he rolls okay, but I, like, I know because the tires aren't really moving that he's not rolling okay. And that's just a tolerance thing. We also have this little gas canister thing. The cord is fabric. And what you do is you take the two pieces of the handle, I guess, and the two pieces of the canister, and you sandwich them together. And there's a little section there where you put the fabric in. When you sandwich it together, it should kind of lock in there, hold in there pretty tightly. It can peg on Nemesis. Um, on Nemesis Roller. And it's just like it's a little... Right, it's a little gas thing and a little thing there. It can also go in the trailer, which is where I tend to put it, keep it, cause why put it on this guy? Like, I don't remember G1 Roller having a, like a gas canister. Uh, why would Nemesis, you know, that's kind of my take on it. The only real nuisance here was putting in this red piece. Once I figured it out and I, you know, put this together and took it apart a couple of times, putting this little red nub in here, Oh man, that was a nuisance. Getting it out the sprue was fine, but the, uh, honestly, all three holes back here on my copy are super tight. You can do it, and they are a tight tolerance. This will never ever come out of here again. So yeah, little black Nemesis roller, I think it's pretty cool. The trailer itself kind of sort of looks like this. So we were given two red pieces. They go up here and over here. I'm going to guess that on the Optimus version, they're probably blue because I think those pieces were kind of blue on Optimus. So the red here makes sense. It's nice. It breaks it up. I put the fuel canister piece over here in a couple of pegs. I put his blaster over there in a couple of pegs. Off of the old, um, I don't know what you call it, the like, door section, the tail section, this. Off of that old piece, I took the shield out and I put it down here. Nemesis Roller kind of just hangs out on top of it. I, I, why not? And then we have enhancements to uh, the repair bay drone bit where you open it out stock and it just has two little arms on it. Well, when we open it out now, we have a couple of extra missiles in there and we use those little arms to give us a satellite and to give us a longer gripping arm. I'm going to open that out, we're going to, to center in on it, and then we'll see kind of how this whole thing looks when it's sort of laid down. And again with this, we're looking at blacks and gunmetal grays. If you uh, like turn this just this way, you'll notice now, using the two ports out front that I guess were meant for blast effects or lasers or whatever, we now have a couple of like missile sections, I guess, in there. And I think they can take blast effects, let's see. Yeah, they can take blast effects. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, then we had two little armatures, one right there and one on the other side. The one on this side, we have a satellite piece that just goes held in the hand. It gives us the satellite that goes up there. Over on this side, we have, again, a little piece that goes in the hand, and it extends this, like, arm so that it's the two-piece arm that we're used to seeing on this, <clears throat> on this repair drone thing. It's simple. You don't have to replace anything. It uses everything that's there. I think it's kind of brilliant. And in the end, 
the whole kind of open out base look is kind of like this. And so here's how we kind of have things in the end. We have Giza over here opened out just being a good little bird minion. We uh, have the rack taken off as like a, a double blaster like embankment, like defense embankment or something. We have Fangtron, that's his name, Fangtron. We have Fangtron over there just, just being a good little snake lad. We have Nemesis in his cab mode, and now we have Nemesis Roller, and his trailer actually now feels more like a base. It feels like the way a trailer should be. Look, I think that this was a great set to upgrade the Earthrise Optimus Prime, uh, to give you Roller, to give you the parts in there. I think it's a great set to kind of enhance your uh, Nemesis Prime as well. So it's a great set for Optimus, whether in blue or gray, it's a great set for Nemesis in black. The tolerances are, are tight, but I'd rather they be too tight than too loose. At least if they're too tight, I can sand them down or something, you know? I didn't have to do any sanding here. Everything works and fits in. It's just, you, you, gotta, you gotta use a bit of force with it. Honestly, uh, the, and the color match is pretty great. Uh, pfft, as far as upgrade set goes, I feel like this adds real value. Uh, I wish the trailer hitch was somehow managed to work a, a little bit better, but I don't think there's anything you could do about that until you resolve yourself that you want to kind of cut off that, that actual stock trailer peg. I'm going to say it's, for what it does, it works well. I'm going to say it's 10. I think that it's a great set. Look, I like what Non-F does, and this is another slam dunk or hitting it at the ballpark or... Uh, I don't know, touchdown, whatever, whatever sports reference you want to use for success, it matches this set for Nemesis Prime. And here we are once again, and here, well, the set is... Okay, so first things first, it was just a couple of minor little tweaks to the accessories rack. Um, it's, I think it's great. I mean, mine is fairly secure, and I, it comes out on the sides enough that it covers the Decepticon logo, which I didn't really want the Decepticon logo there, so I kind of dig the rack, but... The real thing here is the non-F set. I love their products. I really do. Generally, I think non-F does a great, great job. This is no different. Um, the red sections in there break things up. The little gas canister thing, I mean, it's cool because it makes it seem like more like a base. You can fill up Roller and he can go, or Nemesis Roller and he can go. The Nemesis Roller is extremely true to Roller. The regular Roller, I'm sure, is extremely true to Roller. I don't have the Optimus kit, just the Nemesis. I like the back piece uh, that folds down and it seems more like the traditional back piece as well as the little stabilizers. But honestly, I think some of my favorite parts are the parts that go on the like repair drone piece because now it looks and feels like the original G1 repair drone. It is the sort of thing where um, if you are fine with the trailer the way it was and somewhat incomplete, then cool. You know, there's no real need, I suppose, for it. But if you just want it to be a little more accurate, this fills the bill and it gives you really everything that you could possibly want. This is now a definitive Optimus slash Nemesis trailer. It is a great set, sturdy set, well built, looks good. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you think about this set from Nanef. Um, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you, man. If you are in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we offer to you through Teespoon, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member while you're at it, man. Hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us, and don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, man, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned baby right here inside the videos.